Hey guys, your boy Kenny, or Spiker, whichever one you prefer. Today, I'm going to go on my first paintball experience. 15 years of age, that's the minimum age limit, I'm pretty sure. And it's going to be a blast. I'm really excited for this. But I've pretty much got all my stuff packed on these like bicycle knee pads. Zombies sliding around everywhere. If you know me personally, you know I'm fast and I like to slide around everywhere, you know? Let me put another camera in there just in case this one dies. I'm actually pumped for this. Try and look around for anything else I need. No, I think that's it. I can't wait for this, dude. Anyways. What is it? It's nearly 11.30. Dad wants to leave at 12. Because we have to get there at 1. Spec Ops Brisbane in the middle of Brisbane. Spec Ops Paintball. I can't wait for this dude. I actually can't wait. First time playing but I've always wanted to play paintball. I've been watching videos for like the whole week on paintball. Hey guys, so I can't wait for this. Didn't really just come back from paintball. Anyways. Maybe on I'll... Now to off the train. We'll get back from, to you once I get there. Going yeah. from coming from paintball, you know. It was good fun. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I'll definitely go back to playing paintball. Yeah, I might might do it for my 16th birthday. Because everyone should be 15 by then. The age limit is 15, I think. Yeah, it was good fun. Um, first one, first game of paintball was basically like a team deathmatch kind of thing, just to see how everyone played paintball. You know, everyone, if everyone knew the rules, everyone knew what was doing. You know. And the second one, pretty sure, was extract the hostage. This little dummy with no arms and no legs, who was called Lieutenant Dan. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, and essentially what it was was one team got the dummy, got to place it wherever they want on their side of the field. The other team had to grab the hostage, bring it back to their side. That basically played out as a team deathmatch thing as well. Was, I'm pretty sure no one touched a dummy. Same thing, vice versa, switch teams. There was two teams, it was green and camo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure no one touched a dummy. Or well, Lieutenant Dan. You want to call him that? Yeah. I got a few marks on me from paintball. And the third game was capture a flag in the dark, or well, not really. Spawn was lit up. The rest of the field was like black, not really pitch black, pitch black, but black. Those. It was the left side of the field that could barely see and then the right side was like complete darkness. I, I was on that right side and I was second guessing it was on my team and who wasn't. But I saw guys like straight ahead of me and I was like, okay, yep, he's definitely on the other team. Now I stuck to the far right side and I'm looking down like straight through the middle and going, okay, is he on my team or is he not? Like, I was second guessing myself so much during that game. Yeah, and then last one, free for all. Every man for himself. We, most of the guys, or well, some of the guys running out of paint in my last one, so they couldn't play. And yeah, I was used the last pot on that one. Because I use like a pot each game. Then the second last game I used two. Pretty sure, yeah. And, yeah, it was towards the end I was, like, shitting myself because I had no idea what was going on. I heard call outs, like, five minutes left, two minutes left. And you, the basic rule was, it was two minutes, two minutes left that you got one life. 
I'm not sure. No, because second last game, we played for the full 10 minutes and you got unlimited lives throughout the whole game. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure you only got one life in like the last five minutes. That last game. Yeah. I was playing it like there was un unlimited respawns. Yeah. No. The guys walked off the field. I was like, why the fuck are you walking off the field? I heard the whistling and shit. Like, I heard the three whistles to get off the field. When you were shot, you only got one life. Yeah, um, if you guys are walking around the field, kind of shot them, kind of felt pretty dumb. <laughs> yeah. And that, that last game was hectic. Like the first two or three minutes, I couldn't find anyone to kill. So I like basically put myself in the middle of the field. I was walking around with my gun up, you know, swooping around looking for people. And I couldn't find anyone, like everyone was hiding behind cover, hiding by cars and walls and shit and Yeah, I couldn't find anyone. <laughs> to be brutally honest. And then I found people and it just got hectic, like you had to like watch your back and like check every corner and shit for people. It was free for all and I had like was it forty five guys there, I'm pretty sure. On this small ass indoor f paintball field. Now you shouldn't have that many people on a field as, at once with that small of a field. Spec Ops Brisbane, that's what it was. Indoor, no. 45 people, no, it doesn't work. Definitely not. Oh, well, oh, that was good fun. Got some marks on me. No? I'll definitely go back to playing paintball. If I get enough money, I'll probably buy myself my own gun, my own equipment, you know. Do that. Might start up a paintball channel. channel. If I get really into it. Yeah. It was good fun, yeah. Guess that's all I have to say now. Well, this has been me, Spike on Hundred, aka Kenny, signing off.